Welcome back, everybody, to Blogging the Boys. This is our weekly Madden simulation here, taking a look at the Dallas Cowboys visiting the Minnesota Vikings. I'm Derek Kirby, same as always, and we are taking a look at a tough matchup. It feels like Dallas always is the one making the road trip here. Never seems like it's Minnesota coming to town, but this is a good test with both teams coming off the bye week. The Vikings a little bit uneven, but I still think this is a great matchup for them as Dallas has not had to go against a premier running back this season, at least as we look at the non-simulation sense. This is going to be a good test for them this week. All right, we open up here, second and four. Dak Prescott over the middle to Cedric Wilson for the first down, down to about the Minnesota 31-yard line. This is a good opening drive for the Cowboys here. But things get a little sketchy as Dak Prescott is intercepted at the Viking 19-yard line. The return gets down to the 20, so Minnesota takes over. Promising drive for Dallas ends in not. However, Kirk Cousins is on the other team, and we do know Trayvon Diggs lives for interceptions, returning this one 23 yards for the house call. The Dallas defense steps up again. If Trayvon Diggs gets his eighth interception of the year in the seventh game for the Cowboys, I don't know what I'll do. The man is an absolute ball hawk, although in this particular case, uh, the Viking player the ball is intended for makes no effort at all to go for it, but we're not going to worry about that. Trayvon Diggs gets Dallas on the board. Let's see how Kirk Cousins responds here. Oh, he's got all day in the pocket here. Good Lord. And oh, he's still going to take a sack. Diggy is digging it as he gets a big sack on second down. It is now third and 22. Kirk Cousins could have made himself a sandwich back in the pocket, and he still takes the sack. What a baffling play. Dude, throw the ball away. Great start by the Cowboys defense here between the pick six for Diggs and then Diggy getting a big sack here. Minnesota going to have to punt it away. Dallas takes over. Now let's see if the Cowboys offense can get going because that first drive had some promise before going south with the Prescott interception. Unfortunately, that drive doesn't really go anywhere. Vikings get the ball back. And here comes Dalvin Cook. This is the test we wanted to see. That's 14 yards there on that carry. This is the test we wanted to see for the Cowboys defense, how they could deal with a premier running back. And Cook there catching the ball gets another first down for Minnesota. Vikings churning out first downs here. You can see they're really going to Cook. They are feeding him in any way that they can. They've got some really good receivers there in Minnesota but Cook is integral to that offense. And he's going to, it's third and inches here. They're going to say he's short, wow. I don't know about that, but they're saying Micah Parsons gets the stop on third and inches, let's see. Mm, it's hard to tell, you don't really get north-south running from Dalvin Cook, here's the line here. And uh, yeah, Micah Parsons gets the stop. Stops Minnesota short at about the 46-yard line. That's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Dallas leading 7-0. Minnesota does punt it here. Dallas takes over. Dak Prescott rolls out, and oh. Well, he's clearly across the line of scrimmage, so that's a big gain that will not matter. Sorry, Noah Brown. That was a clear downfield pass, a legal downfield pass. Prescott was a solid two yards ahead there. Uh, this drive goes nowhere for Dallas, but here comes Minnesota right back with Dalvin Cook. Early on, it feels like the offenses can't really get anything going. Thankfully, Dallas's defense provided a, a real turning point with their, uh, with their score. So that is really the difference in this game because neither offense has been able to put much together. But you know what? I say that. Here comes Minnesota pushing the ball down the field again. They are to the Dallas 30-yard line. They are getting something going here. So Dallas... Their offense is going to have to respond because you can't expect your defense to pitch a shutout when you've got guys like Dalvin Cook and Adam Thielen to contend with. It's a handoff here. Oh, what a hit by Randy Gregory. Smashes Cook in the backfield. Man, not many guys are going to get that stop one-on-one -on -one there. Randy Gregory absolutely oh, looks way worse. Real speed here. It kind of looks like he hugs him to the ground. 
had a had vintage flair of that Mac Jones sack in New England a couple weeks ago. Vikings here, they're going to get down to the, it looks like, six-yard line. So Dallas' defense here, back on their heels a little bit. Adam Thielen has them moving. They're down to the seven, excuse me. Cousins out of the shotgun. He's going to hand off to Cook, and he's going to get down to the one-yard line on first and goal. Second and goal here. Can the Cowboys get a stop? And, oh, there's the tackle for loss. Osa again. Hello, Diggy. All right, third and goal from the three. What can the Dallas defense do here? Can they get a stop and hold Minnesota to a field goal? Throw to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Incomplete pass. Great stand by the defense there. What a play. Donovan Wilson gets the pass breakup. Vikings are going to have to settle for a field goal here. And the kick is up, and good. Dallas, wow. That is a good, good start to this game for the Dallas defense, not just the interception return for touchdown, several plays in the backfield, and then you get the hold when you need it. Here comes the Dallas offense now. Good pass from Prescott to Dalton Schultz there for the first down. Nice gain. Underneath here to CeeDee Lamb. Welcome to the game. Nothing gets going, though, before the half. Dallas leads 7-3. Minnesota is controlling the head-to-head -head stats, but uh, Dallas still has the lead. Great play here by the Dallas defense. Keanu Neal first gets there, and then Randy Gregory cleans it up, getting Dalvin Cook down for a very short gain. And then here on third and two, Keanu Neal again gets another stop. Another stop here holding Minnesota from third and two to fourth and inches. That's a hell of a play there. Dallas coming back now, third and four. There's a check down. It's a screen, excuse me, to Ezekiel Elliott, and he's going to get the first down. For the Dallas offense, that's been a little stagnant. That's good. Big gain here to Amari Cooper. He breaks the tackle. Amari Cooper's going to cut it down the sideline. They're not going to catch him. Amari Cooper, touchdown! 60 yards to the house. Amari Cooper making the first big play of the day for the Cowboys offense. They might have been shut out in the first half, but they get it going on their first possession of the second half here. Amari Cooper, look at this play. Just shaking the man out of his boots and then winning the foot race down the sideline. Dallas with a 14-3 lead here. Great job. Vikings now going to have to try and answer. Kirk Cousins... We'll see what he can do. I'm not I'm not personally scared of Kirk Cousins, and there's a mountain of evidence. Even still, you got to stay on your toes if you're the defense. You can't get complacent here. And right on cue, they're down to the Dallas 23-yard line. So Minnesota is responding well on this drive. Adam Thielen is having himself a strong day here early on. Now we are at the end of the third quarter. It is 14-3 Dallas. All right, second and goal here. Minnesota easily walks it in there with Dalvin Cook. Yep, that'll, uh, that'll do it. Minnesota's offense is on the board. It is 14-9. They're going to go for two. That's a surprising development. Try and make it a three-point game. All day for Cousins in the pocket, and he connects on the conversion. Big, big play there for Minnesota. It is 14 to 11 here. Dak warming up on the sideline, now sitting there without his helmet, just a background character. That's a very confusing animation, Madden. Dak gonna go play action, throws it over the middle, and it's uh, it's a gain to, who is that, Amari Cooper again? Amari Cooper again, all right. Dallas has found its intended playmaker of the day. Dak drops back, throws over the middle to Dalton Schultz again for another first down. Dallas grinding it out here. They keep getting to third down and then finding a way to convert. Second and three here. Prescott over the middle. Cedric Wilson. He is gone. Touchdown, Dallas. What a play. 35 yards. Hitting the thriller dance. Celebrating with CeeDee Lamb. What a play. Dallas' offense has woken up here in the second half. Wide open there for Wilson. Wilson has been a real X factor for Dallas in these simulations here. And he's been having a great year overall as well. But man, oh man, teams do not have an option or an answer, I should say, 
for that third receiver for Dallas, whether it's Gallup or Wilson. Minnesota coming back, and it's intercepted by Anthony Brown. Welcome to the show, Anthony Brown. Another great performance here. Four tackles and an interception. What a backbreaker for Minnesota. They're sitting in what was a three-point game, and now they're going to be knocked on their heels. Dallas easily in field goal range. Here we are, third and three. Prescott out of the gun. Throws over the middle for Dalton Schultz. It's a first down again. Dallas is in control of this game, looking to take a stranglehold on this road contest. Up the gut there, Ezekiel Elliott, as we reach the two minute warning, Elliott down to about the three yard line. Prescott gonna hand it off and Elliott walks into the end zone. You know what, I said walks. It looks like he had to truck through a couple Vikings to get there. Regardless, on third and two, another third down conversion for the Cowboys. It's a punch up the gut for a score. That's going to push the lead, what, to 17 at this point. This is a huge... Man, Elliott does go through two defenders on the play. What a run. Dallas is going to push their lead to 17 now. This game got away from Minnesota in the blink of an eye. They cut it to three. There's Elliott now celebrating with Osa, with Terrell Basham. Leighton Van Der Esch a little out of place. There's Randy Gregory, but Elliott celebrating with his defense. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this game got away from Minnesota in a hurry. Let's see what they're able to do here now. It's a sack for Randy Gregory on first and 10. He's, he's hitting the jumping jacks. That's an eight yard loss. What a play by Gregory. Minnesota, they've come completely unglued here. But here we are, fourth and 15. Cousins going deep in. Oh no, Jeffries wide open down the sideline. It's a touchdown with 31 seconds left. Minnesota looking to cut it down. Yeah, 59 yard touchdown reception. That'll answer. Uh, that's a broken coverage there by Jordan Lewis, it looks like. Big gain for the Vikings in a desperation situation. Here comes the onside kick now, 10 point game, and Dallas will recover. Looks like Noah Brown with the recovery there. Dallas will take over. That'll basically do it. Dak Prescott on the day, 15 up 24, 197 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Dallas is gonna kneel this out. They will have to punt the ball, however. Here it is now, the final play of the game. It's a punt from Anger, and the ball's gonna go into the end zone, and that'll do it. Even if Minnesota tried to return it, you're down 10. The game is over. This is a quality win for Dallas here. Not just the fact that they woke up in the second half with 21 points, but the defense made several great plays, two interceptions, several tackles for loss. Dak Prescott getting going with Amari Cooper, who's been pretty quiet this year for the most part outside of the opener in Tampa Bay. And yeah, you get just good contributions all around Cedric Wilson making a contribution for you with his big 35 yard score Dalton Schultz consistent over the middle this is a great great win if you got any complaints I guess it's that CD Lamb really only had one catch on the day but even still you get the W and that's what matters until next time guys I've been Derek Kirby for blogging the boys peace